What is up boys? It's your boy 12 inch back from China out here playing Age of Empires mobile. This is the final trial. I did not get to play a little bit earlier in this because obviously I was in China recording as you guys will see. This is a sponsored video by the wonderful makers of Age of Empires mobile. I'm really excited about this. I haven't played a new mobile game in a hot little minute here. I think the last one I played was uh, some crypto game. It was okay but it wasn't like terrible. This is the test version so I don't get to run this on my actual phone. It's gonna be a lot cleaner when I'm on there. So I played the the like full version with a lot of extra stuff when I was in China because obviously I, had, I was at the office. So this is gonna be my first gameplay on this version of the game, but I was playing a little bit before, which is pretty good. I was pretty excited for it. Obviously I talked to a couple other content creators. I talked to Zagarm, shout out to that guy for, for real. Because when I was trying to figure out what, what to do in this game or like in any capacity, I definitely hit that guy up. Yeah, they, they, they know who he is pretty well too. So that's pretty solid. Okay, we're, we're lagging a little bit. So we'll uh, we'll enjoy this later. We got the click and drag, some some classic stuff out here. I really like the open map. Like any kind of open map thing, I think in mobile games is absolutely fantastic. The days of like having to like click on things and click move or like boost your like march speed like a million times to like ram into things has always been uh, a little rough. Unfortunate individual who met their demise a few days ago bears the marks of being ravaged by wild creatures. I really like this intro because it reminds me of like some of the the earlier additions like in Age of Empires 2. Like in Age 2 like usually you're, you're not actually given like a full civilization to start. You're just given like a couple guys and you're you know you're walking through the forest and doing stuff. It is really unfortunate that it's lagging but um, you can't really do too much about it with an APK. I'll consider saving the empire. Personally, Carl, I don't know. You're not very compelling to me. I might just dip out. I, I might uh, I might link up with the with the the eggs, you know what I mean? My my I might link up with those marauders. That's that's my type of gameplay. I don't know if I'm really playing uh, playing hero out here. They'll they'll make me with the tutorial, but uh, you know, I, I know where I'm at. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Boys, build up. Okay, we're 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 busy. Look, and when I see stuff like this, I just think skill gap. You know what I mean? Like maybe if the villagers were a little better. If these were, you know, if Age of Empires 2 style, we had like Spanish villagers. Yeah, you know I mean with that uh, with that gold tech. Like this guy, this Arden guy, I kind of I kind of mess with him. You know, when I look at this and I think of like, oh, like how am I, how am I gonna be raiding places? How am I gonna be hitting them up? Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Man, the losers. We're taking the guys who just took a thick L by this guy. That's our team. I know, I know, we're about to pull it up. I'm just I'm just saying. You know, me personally, I don't know if I'd be teaming up the villagers. What if we made a deal with him where we robbed the villagers even harder? We forcefully conscripted them into the into the squad, you know what I mean? Like a little, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, and this guy, I mean, this is a voice that really commands respect. Wow, he really gave up his boy immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna forgive him. Personally, I'm big forgiving this guy. I like this guy a lot. Here, it's okay, buddy. Yes, I will not reduce myself to the likes of you. And later, if I can get you, I would like that. It's okay, big boy. Don't worry. Limp away, limp away. I'll, I'll be back for you. He seems pretty cool. Also, I know that the swordsmen are probably like the meta to pick here. Swordsmen or pikemen for the entire game. I wish cavalry would be solid, but as far as I know, like pikemen demolish the field. And if everybody's running pikes, there's no way I can. I'm thinking either swordsmen or archers, but as far as I know, even archers don't have like that much uh, support. Whereas like, like swordsmen are it right now. All right, let's go deputy the axle. Enough, enough yapping, guys. Okay, we've got a job to do. Look at these losers, bro. They took an L to the villagers. The villagers they beat. Crazy. Me personally, I wouldn't take something like that. I dug it out. Me personally. Okay, focus attack the arrow tower. Yeah, I can do that. Here, buddy. You can tank. Me personally, I'm not trying to use lose troops like that. I'm a little greedier. I wish there could be a, a way where we get to play the uh or the would these be the patch and eggs? Would these be like the Huns? Yeah, it'd be it'd be lit if we could be these guys and like murder all the villagers. Oh, 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 we're we're dueling. We're fighting. That's right. Oh, you're trying to hit me with pikemen? Okay, you already you already know. This is the combat. Actually, I, I was very much surprised at how big of a factor uh the combat triangle is in this game. I guess technically it's a combat square, because there are four types. But from what I saw before, like in other games, like the combat triangle is more of a suggestion. Like you could still win with other things. Like there might be like a like a five percent here or five percent there, but it's actually quite it's quite a big deal here. I don't know if they're going to expand on that later or not. You cannot stop what is to come. Yeah, bro, you had no chance. Okay, buddy, I was asleep at the wheel. The 
a straight narcoleptic and still ran you over. Too bad you won't get to tell the tale. Do I uh, do I get that guy I I pardoned earlier? I love I love his voice. You, you guys couldn't hear it, and honestly, it's probably for the best. But it's like one of those squeaky like, oh my god, please, please, I butchered your citizens, please help me, don't kill me, are you stupid, my guys? Like, like he's like snitching those guys in the town center up ahead. Personally, I thought it was pretty gas. I would want like five of those guys, all talking at the same time. Establish these guys as homeland? Mm, I saw what happened the last time you guys had a homeland. You guys lost to uh, the, my guys in the town center. I mean, like, look, that's a tough L to take. And like half your dudes died, and then you took them into your army. There's truly some some Joan of Arc core. About to do you dirty just like the Dauphine. Okay, build a house. We love this. My, I am not good at city building ever. I'm always so so bad when it comes to like organizing stuff. I'm I'm gonna have to get better, I guess. Oh God. All right, build a lumber camp. Cool. It is cool how you can like assign villagers to stuff to make things instant just because like your villagers are obviously going to be doing different things every day having them just be able to build out the troops instead of having to speed them up is more of a, a more of an interactive thing i think okay i'll upgrade now speed up God damn, this game is beautiful. Holy, <laughs> this game is actually so attractive visually. It's been a while because I I can't remember the last time I played a game actually such high graphics was. Because these graphics are, obviously they're suffering because I'm on the APK, but seeing this, like even through the APK, like you can see how high quality everything is. Personally, I always think it's funny how Joan of Arc gets betrayed. I guess this, this is Josephine. Oh no, no, this is Joan of Arc. I think it's the, the funniest thing on the planet. This girl like pulls up the mantle for France and is like running like, day after day, year after year, trying to make it work for France. Getting betrayed by the Dauphine is the funniest outcome ever. Especially like the people who, who like did her in, like the Burgundians, not bad people. Are we supposed to run two? I thought we were only supposed to get one legendary card. Huh, okay, gas, that, that has to be, you have to automatically get that, right? The Dauphine running you over has gotta be like the most ironic thing on the planet. I mean, personally, yeah. Okay, Joan, do your thing. Just saying, I would have betrayed you, though. I I'd be going all John the Fearless on this. John the Fearless is just built different. I could probably pitch that to the devs. I don't know if many people know who John the Fearless is. Basically, he was the Burgundian guy who, who did in Joan. He, he, like, did he was, like, a crusader and shit. Like, it was pretty cool. And here we go, using tomes to upgrade the heroes. Just like, like most of the other games, there's nothing too crazy going on here. We're 77% towards upgrading the sword. Every time I touch one of these houses, the sword gets excited. So, pause. Okay, pause. That that came out wrong. Okay, upgrade the lumber camp. I know I know the sword's going to be in, in full full effect once I upgrade this lumber camp. Okay, advance to the feudal age. Okay, gas. We're back out here with the holy sword. Effort is paid off. Boosted by our people's support. The holy sword is shining. Just saying, your people's support did not do anything the last time y'all were invaded. So, I mean, the sword may be shiny, but the people behind it are a little, uh, Definitely going for more of the Asian heroes here. And I mean, like, technically, technically, like, Alexander the Great, or like, uh, like any of those Greek guys, I mean, they are, like, European, but they're more, like, Balkan, you know? We, we like the Balkans here. Especially my Croatians out there. I will push for Tommy Slav to come out in this game. Okay. Change civilization. So the first thing I picked, I immediately picked China. And the reason why I picked China is because the villagers, I thought they, the villagers were crazy ass. I thought it was a huge, huge addition. So increased production or siege types damage. I think swordsman defense just makes the most sense. Having the cataphracts here is very interesting because this is Cataphracts seem like cavalry in terms of special units, but we haven't seen the special units yet. Maybe I'll just run the phalanxes, actually. Also, hair back. I don't know if you guys like that. Um, I think I might run it a little bit more, just because it's been it's been looking kind of good lately. I've been getting a, a few compliments on it.
Oh my god, is that the Emperor in a barrel? I think I'm unlocking everybody at the same time, and so we're like turbo lagging. Stop! Gamers, I know you saw me unlock Miyamoto there, but if it wasn't abundantly clear, we're F2P this run. Erase that from your head. This is a test server. They gave us everything. This is the only time you're gonna see me with that character. Don't get used to this. Okay, Castle Edge. That's what we're here for. Okay, should be a lot easier now that we have uh, all the all the extra XP that we wrote from this. Should not be too bad. Yes, upgrade heroes with tomes. Complete the chapter. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's see what we got in the university. So overall, guys, I mean, we're not gonna like be fighting probably as much as we possibly can, just because obviously we were in China for most of this. However, I will be looking at a lot of these upgrades. So what I remember, I'm gonna be probably working a little more so arm or asking him a little more questions just because I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. But when it comes to the economy tree, I remember looking at this and I was rather, hmm, because, okay, in this game, instead of having separate accounts as you'd have in other games to farm up for you, you can't really do that, especially because the market has like a looting limit. However, you still need resources, obviously. So the economic tree might not be as bad to go for as it would be in other games. I'm just a little, I'm still a little skeptical of it though. I think the research speed, the building speed, the building speed and the research speed are probably things I'm going to be going for. Going for the later one seems a little, like it has issues with um, with cost investment and then we could probably just be looking at this. Originally I was thinking about swordsman, but I might just go for pikemen. I think if everybody's going for pikemen, I mean swordsman obviously would be better for me. I guess it depends on the speed of the units themselves. Archers look like you just don't have enough support in order to have like a really nasty march. But I mean, overall, you know, as the game actually does come out, we're just going to be looking through all the commanders and kind of deciding where we're going to go from here. Overall, guys, this is just a first look at the game. Thank you so much for watching. I think we might have an extra day tomorrow if we do. I'm probably going to level up a little bit more and then look through the commanders and kind of decide which pairings I might be going to. I'll make another video on that. However, guys, just as a first looks, um, I really enjoy how the game is looking. Once again, a really big shout out to these guys for flying me out to China to record for them and, you know, hang out with them and spend time and kind of see what the game's all about and how they made it. Yeah, it's been nothing but a pleasure. Again, I will catch you guys later. If you guys enjoy this type of content, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for coming to the first looks with me and I'll see y'all next time. Have a nice one, guys. Deuces.